If it's on the internet, it's there forever. Everyone's mom or teacher or someone has said this to them a million times. We're the first generation that have lived out a majority of our lives on the internet. And we're reminded of its permanence every day. From a bad Snapchat username from 7th grade that just keeps following you, to your Google Calendar, or family photos that no longer live in albums on your parents' shelves, but in albums on your parents' Facebook walls. We've offloaded so much of our lives to the internet because we're confident that when it goes down for a spot, it'll come back online, because it, it has to, right? But what happens to all the things that the internet loses? What doesn't get saved? What happens when the internet isn't forever? Around 2011, I was doing what I did, which was mainly just watch Minecraft YouTube videos, when something in my recommended tab just stuck out to me. It was a playlist of uploads from this one channel, so I clicked on it and I watched this guy's videos. And for some reason, the opening video really stuck with me. Like, to this day, it stuck with me. I don't remember it being some fantastic production or even that great, it was just this guy making short films on the internet by himself. It may have been the first dramatic thing I ever saw, so it just kind of blew my mind, but I, I don't know. I think making serious things on the internet was just kind of a moment of reckoning for me. I'm pretty sure this video only had like a few thousand views and maybe like a few likes, but other than that, it was pretty unknown. I think I took a sense of like pretentious pride in feeling like, ooh, this one thing that I love so much is not viewed by a lot of people, it's just for me. But I don't, I don't even think I watched it more than a few times. To this day, I can still remember just about every frame from it, but I can't watch it. Being 11 and extremely impressionable, and having an iPod Touch, I went to work making my own movies, and they were all extremely high quality. They weren't directly inspired by that video, mainly because at 11, my ability to create a sense of drama was lacking, but I still really started because I watched that first video. Around the beginning of high school, I found my old email, and through that, I found my old channel, and this brought back as you probably have guessed, my memories of that video. So I searched for probably 30 minutes that first day, just like looking through the channels I subscribed to to see if it was on an upload of some old inactive channel, but I couldn't find it. A Little while later, I came back because I thought maybe I, I had liked the video and it was some of my likes, no mention. Even later, I checked my PMs from around the time that I watched it, no mention of it. This went on for quite a while, looking for every keyword related to the video, the year, the subject matter, the name I thought I remembered, the channel that it might have been hosted on, nobody had ever heard of it. I did this off and on for the better part of eight years. I still have yet to find this video, but I keep searching because I just don't think that I can accept that the only place that this video exists now is my memory. The internet really is an imperfect medium to store things on. Every hard drive eventually fails, cloud servers shut down, the only thing that gives us confidence that YouTube will still be there when we wake up is that it seems way too big to ever be shut down. I'm at the mercy of all of this technology in my life, and I bet a lot of others are too, but not in the okay. boomery way of your slaves to your phone. I mean, my class schedule is on my phone, my class signups are on my phone, every video I've ever made is on a YouTube channel that's only three clicks away from being deleted, all of my photos live on Instagram. It is so terrifyingly easy to remove all of that and remove all of my work from the internet. Maybe that's what that guy who made the video felt. Wonder what happened. It's strange to mourn a video, but I really do feel the sense of loss. Like I lost something. It's like your favorite toy got put in a yard sale and your parents never even asked you about it. Like I still feel that pang of loss eight years after. I can't tell if I'm being overly dramatic about a YouTube video or not, but I mean, what do I care? I genuinely do feel like this video held a special place for me. It, it was so special and influential to me. I can trace a direct line from that video to me recording this one right now. This video had such a profound effect on me as a kid and it's just gone and I don't think I'll ever be able to see it ever again. I've thought a lot about my reasons for trying to find this video. Stubbornness to admit that it's deleted is a good dismissive one, but I think it's a little bit more nuanced. Everything I've ever made has been out of my hands. 
projects are either assignments to be turned in or their photos hosted on Instagram, on YouTube, or Vimeo, they're completely out of my control. And maybe that's okay. Maybe that's kind of the point of art, to create something and then let it go, to accept that everything you make just can't be yours forever.